Well, there's a concern and controversy tonight that the African American community is being disproportionately affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Devani Lewis. Well, this happened after a push from clergy members urging officials to have more accessible testing. They said testing access to historically historically excluded communities should be increased. Channel 9's Genevieve Curtis is live at the County Health Department now in Genevieve. You found out even more testing locations are coming. Yeah, Damani Novon is going to be setting up a mobile testing site here next to the Public Health Department. But there are going to be more testing sites brought online this week to African American communities that have not had access to testing. It really begins with understanding that a significant a significant uh, uh, portion of our health uh, has to do with uh, the environment, the zip code you live in. This week, new testing locations will be available in African American communities where there hasn't been access before. We were not testing in an area where we had the biggest outbreak. Reverend Ricky Woods has led the charge, calling for mobile testing in areas of Charlotte that are predominantly African American. I've been advocating this from the even before we had our first uh, case. I'm a little disappointed that it has taken almost a, a month to get this done. He says last Wednesday he delivered a letter to the county manager asking for mobile testing, and by Friday the county responded with plans for Novant and Atrium mobile sites. Atrium is setting up mobile testing in North Park at the First Baptist Church West. Novant will have testing locations in East and West Charlotte. The Michael Jordan Family Clinic on Freedom Drive will also be doing respiratory assessment. This comes as new numbers show 50% of all coronavirus patients in Mecklenburg County are African American. I would love to see someone take a look at if one of the reasons that's so is that so many of them may be in positions where they cannot work from home. Novon doctor Jerome Williams says coronavirus has exposed the inequalities that cause health care inequity. It has to do with housing insecurities. It has to do with food insecurities. It has to do with transportation uh, in insecurities. He says it's a conversation we need to continue. But I would like to um, uh, continue the dialogue uh, uh, post COVID because what we see with COVID-19 is just the exacerbation of an underlying problem that we already have in our communities. And Damani, Reverend Woods tells me there is still more work to do here. Of course, he'd also like to see a more comprehensive and coherent communication strategy to get all of this information out. And the county manager says they are working on getting more testing sites up and available. Back to you, Damani. Well, Affinity Health Center is also offering curbside testing in Rock Hill. It will open on Monday through Friday at its Lakeshore Parkway location, but by appointment only. Insurance will be billed, but testing will be free for anyone without insurance.